Hello and welcome everyone to the GLP walkthrough series, student edition. My name is Jason Lupke and I'm a global solution specialist with Houghton Mifflin Harcourt. And today we're going to be talking about how we take assessments that we've been assigned by our teachers. And so you can see here I'm on my landing page and down here at the bottom, right now we're on the explore section of the GLP. Once I click on assignments, I'll see all of those assignments that my teacher has given me and when those assignments are due. So this is really important. I can see all of these, these due dates here. And down here at the bottom, you can see I have this assignment that's due in one day. It's called GLP walkthroughs, okay? So when I click on that, it brings me to my landing page. I can see that, uh, that I'm able to take my test right here. So I click on take test. And that brings up all of my questions. Now, a couple of things to know here, okay? And first of all, this is not how you should take an assessment, but I'm just gonna go through and guess at some of these answers. And you have to be really careful because there's different types of questions. So you can see this is a multiple answer question. I need to select two words, okay? So let's select two answers here. In this case, I just need to pick one. And if you notice the difference here, circles for a multiple choice question where I just pick one, okay? And any of those questions that are multiple answer where I need to pick more than one, I have boxes and check marks when I click on those. So you see here, we need to select two reasons, okay? There's another multiple choice. Okay, when I get down here, you'll notice that um, I have to answer uh, this question as a long answer, okay? So um, I might say, Elizabeth's motivation was, okay, and then of course, as a student, I would type in a, a, a longer response here. What was my favorite part of the text? I'm gonna say the part about the flowers because, and then of course I would add more to that. When I'm done, it might be a good idea to go back and just double check all of my work. And then when I'm ready to send this on to my teacher, I'm going to go ahead and hit submit test. And that's gonna send that assessment to my teacher so that they're able to check my results and score any of those long response questions that we have in here. Thanks for watching. This was how to take an assessment as a student. We'll see you next time.